Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got some defensive plays for you today out of the 49ers playbook. We're going to be focusing on stopping the run. So whether it's an inside run or an outside run, I got two plays for you that should do a good job at both. And I'm going to go to show them to you right now. If you follow this channel regularly, you probably know these plays. Um, I put them out last year, and I might even put them out the year before that. It's out of the 4-3 wide 9, the outside safety blitz, and the cover 2 invert. So these are very unique plays. They have a very unique setup. Uh, they don't. You don't really have to do anything, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to, I'm going to put them both in uh, in my audibles so that I have the ability to switch in between the two. That's more something you have to do in game than necessarily in practice mode. So on the offensive side, we're going to go ahead. We're going to start with an inside run. Uh, a really good. Uh, the, the inside zones are really good runs inside, and then later I'll pick a stretch run for the outside run. So when it comes to uh, the outside safety blitz and the cover to invert, you don't really have to do anything. They set themselves up. I find it's best. Um, to actually use the safeties, get them down to the box a little bit closer if you have time. I also find it's best to pinch the defensive line, uh, but you see when you do that, these safeties have a tendency to walk back. I don't know why EA can't fix that where when you make adjustments, uh, it kind of resets the play because that can kind of catch you off guard. So sometimes it's best to not do anything at all uh, and just basically let the computer do it. Now there, I didn't even know the play was starting. You see when we're off the bat, I wasn't even doing anything because I'm still talking and it shut the run play down. So if you do make the adjustments when it comes to this play, uh, just be aware that the safeties will reset so it's best um, to be on one of them while you make the adjustment and then try to catch the other one for he walks back totally dumb uh, they need to fix that they need to pad something but the full adjustment would be pinch the defensive line spread the deep uh, spread the linebackers and then you see for one for one the safety's coming right off the edge stopping the inside run it's going to stop the outside run the same way so this is something that um, i find is best i keep uh messing up because I accidentally picked the wrong play but ultimately let's walk these guys down like I said they're going to run back uh, you can see right there gotta catch the one guy uh, before he makes that run back and that's pretty much this like I said inside runs outside runs this is gonna be a really good way to stop both I'm not really doing anything you can see the guy coming off the edge is taking care of the run for the most part as far as the other play goes um, this one here it's good you know what I mean it's a good run play but also a good run stopping defense it looks the exact same, but it's really, you know, you use this as a scheme. You, they're, they're, there's a reason that they're meant to look the same, and it's to catch your opponent off guard. So they're thinking that that outside blitz is coming in, and boom, you hit him with an inside run. There was a, I mean, I don't know what was going on with that animation. That would look glitchy as hell. But you can see that it still does a pretty good job of, uh, of stopping the run the same way. It's just not as aggressive. So if your opponent sees this look, a lot of people, when they see this many people in the box, they're thinking that they could probably throw over it or you know hit a big play by, by switching over to some slants or something. That's why you have this play, because you can see it's, it's going to look the exact same way. It has a very similar effect. Uh, but ultimately, um, it does a really, it's a, it's a better pass defense. And I would say, if anything, um, I would switch these guys to, uh, to uh, I, I don't really care. I mean, the hard flats, I can, I can give it or I can take it when it comes to the hard flats. Uh, but ultimately, I think cloud flats are going to be a little bit better. Because they are so close to the box, uh, you might want to give yourself a little bit better of a, of, a, of a defense. But you can see, I mean, for the most part there, I mean, the cloud flats didn't handle the run as well. So the hard flats will handle the run much better. Uh, but the cloud flats obviously are going to be a little bit better in the pass defense. So, like I said, I'm getting sick of having to, to bring these safeties down. That's supposed to be their job. They're supposed to be down here. As a user, though, you have to make sure if they do switch over to a pass play, you're user in that middle. So you have to be ready to drop back. So, like I said, I'll keep with the hard flats because I'm, I'm basically focused on trying to stop the run. And the hard flats do a much better job of stopping that run. Uh, but you can see, I mean, for the most part, all the computers really getting is a couple yards a carry tops uh, which is not going to be enough for first down so let's go and switch over to a stretch play so now we got a stretch run going to do the exact same setup like i said these guys are going to walk back um, if you if you put them in their spots before they walk back a lot of times they won't so like i said we got an outside run here i'm just going to stay in the middle like i said i, I know where the ball's going but i'm going to try to pretend like i don't like i said it's a lot of garbage to run through as you can see right there there's just no real lanes um, so it's really just my job here to keep that outside contained so like i said if you use or move these guys they won't walk back. That's something that you have to, as, if you just touch them before you make the adjustments, they won't walk back. So that's probably the best way to handle it. Shouldn't really be that way regardless, but ultimately, so here we go. One more time. Got the stretch run. 
Like I said, I'm not trying to do too much as a user. I'm just playing, you know, I'm just playing safety for the most part. And you can see there's no real, there's nowhere to run, which is rare in this game. It's a lot because of the aggressiveness of this play. We'll go ahead and we'll switch to the cover two invert. Uh, but ultimately, this is, you know, like I said, this, and this is not necessarily the four three wide nine is not necessarily um, one of the most common formations. Uh, but it's a, it's a somewhat rare formation, but it's a really good one. So like I said, right here, we got the, uh, got the cover two. You can see it's not as aggressive. The outside run definitely is a little bit more, uh, a little bit better against that. But like I said, when you go with the safety blitz, um, it's it's mostly in all. I mean, it's it's an aggressive de run defense, so it's not going to be as good against the pass. So you're going to have to switch in the cover twos from now and then. So like I said, the cover twos are definitely a good play, uh, but you know, against the run, but it's not as good as the aggressive defense. But you can't get caught with your pants down running the aggressive defense over and over and over. And then you can see the lane issues are still there. So the, the cover two is not as good a run defense as the uh, as the, the the aggressive one, uh, but ultimately, I mean, the all-out blitz is a little bit better. But you can't keep running that. You're going to have to switch that in because ultimately, uh, you don't want to get caught with your pants down. You have to switch these back and forth because your opponent's not a robot. They're not just going to keep running the same play over and over and over. You have to show them that it's there. And then you can see right there. I mean, that's you know, it's a little bit. It's not as good. So the cover two is not as good against the run, but it's better against the pass. That's the best way to describe it. Um, you can't just keep running, uh, you know, the same uh, aggressive man blitzes all game. So you have to mix this in. You have to make sure your opponent, um, you know, can't just, get, you can't be predictable on defense. But you can see for the most part, it's still a pretty good run defense. It's just not as good as the outside blitz. So like I said, the outside blitz definitely uh, is probably one of the more shutdown run defenses you're going to find because of how aggressive it is with the safeties. So then we'll do it one more time. Like I said, I'm not doing too much. And then you're going to get that look a lot. So that's, you know, without a doubt, one of the best run defenses in the game. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end the video there. Go ahead and we'll put uh, put something up here so the computer doesn't want to play. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, I want to do a pass defense next. Let me know in the comments section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. Where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.